Today's question of the day, how many 400 watt solar panels do you need to charge all four extra batteries and two solar generators at once? We're talking about the Delta Pro from EcoFlow. Now, I really like the Delta Pro. It's got great output, good efficiency, all sorts of great things about it. But this is one of the limiting factors on the Delta Pro is the solar input. It has good solar input at 1600 watts max input. In order to reach 1600 watts of max input is where it gets difficult. So to answer this question about the 400 watt panel, now the 400 watt solar panel, it's gonna put around 41 volts and around 10 or 11 amps. And that's gonna be the VOC and the max current. You have to stay within the 11 to 150 volt charge parameter and up to 15 amps. That's how much energy can go into the Delta Pro from the solar panels at once. So that being said, you can put three 400 watt solar panels together in series. That means panel one is connected to panel two, panel two connected to panel three. You have an open wire on panel one and an open wire on panel two. And that is what's going to get your solar cable. From there, you're gonna have 120 volts roughly and somewhere around 10 or 11 amps. And that's gonna be 1200 watts input. In order to reach 1600, we're gonna double the amount of solar panels. So we're going from 1200 watts all the way up to 2400 watts. So we have two groups of three panels. They're gonna be branched together with a two to one branch connector, MC4 branch connector. We're gonna have 2400 watts connected. We're still gonna be at 120 volts because each group is making 120 volts. And then when they parallel together, we're going to double the amps. So it's gonna be 20 amps. The Delta Pro charge controller can only let in up to 15 amps. So we're gonna have 120 volts in 15 amps. Volts times amps equals watts. That's gonna give us 1800 watts. In ideal conditions, the panels will make 1800 watts, but then we have to factor in that most solar panels don't actually get their rated output. And so we're gonna be somewhere closer to 1400 to 1600 watts of actual input even though we have 2,400 watts of solar panels connected. That is one of the few major downsides of the Delta Pro. So you can over panel it and you can get the 1,600 watts in, but you can't do it with just four 400 watt solar panels like you should. Because even if you had two panels in one group and two panels in another group, you would have 1,600 watts of panels, but you would be at 80 volts and 15 amps. And 80 volts at 15 amps is 1,200 watts. There again, that's where the solar input is limited on the Delta Pro. You have to over panel it in order to get the max rated input. Whereas on other units, they have a large enough charge parameter that you can connect a thousand watts or 2000 watts of panels, whatever it is, and be getting close to that input. You don't have to over panel it. So it's always good to be able to over panel, but not just so you can barely reach the max input. So if you want help getting a solar generator, reach out to me at info at poweredportablesolar.com or you can go to poweredportablesolar.com and see the exact kits that I recommend. Now, I actually personally do use the Delta Pro currently to back up my house. I have two Delta Pros and two batteries on each Delta Pro. So I've got about 21... 0.6 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. And then I do have up to 2,400 watts of solar panels to put on each Delta Pro. So I'm getting the max 3,200 watts input between the two systems, getting 240 volt in order to run my entire house. And I have run my house for many days and I have videos about that that I did with the Delta Pro. So it really is a good system. I really do like the Delta Pro, but you just have to be aware of this limitation with the Delta Pro. And I am going to be coming out with a video on all of the solar generators, but each solar generator individually talking about these types of issues with them. So hopefully you found this helpful. Be prepared, see you on the next video.